Hi, I am uh, Dr. Lakshmikant, worked as a uh, state level committee member, Karnataka State uh, Pollution Control Board. So today I am going to speak uh, on few topics. Uh, as a pollution control board, as a regulatory authority in the uh, state of uh, Karnataka. So it has been uh, constituted in, in 1981, renamed in the year 1981 as a Karnataka State uh, Pollution Control Board in the pursuance of uh, Water Act. And the, it is implemented, it is uh, acting as a regulatory body for uh, some of the uh, rules and notifications like uh, fly ash. So BMW, biomedical uh, waste, then plastic rules, EAA. So then some of the challenges uh, which we are, uh, which uh, pollution control board are facing is uh, they have very less uh, staff in number and uh, recent, uh, till recent past there are no any uh, new fresh uh, recruitments uh, happened uh, in the board. So that, that is a major uh, challenges uh, faced by the board. So some of the small and new industries even they are not aware of the consent uh, process that whether it is really required uh, pollution, uh, consent from the pollution control board. So when they will go for the, when the officers, when they will go for inspection, the, so they will come to know that these people have taken uh, consent from the board. So then later they will apply for the board. So there are uh, this kind of uh, challenges are there. So you see, as I have mentioned, uh, uh, there are less stuff in the board that, uh, so even number of industries are more, so even uh, a jurisdictional officer, so very difficult to, uh, I mean, inspect each and every industry. So uh, go there, visiting over there and inspecting uh, the uh, industries. So these are all some of the challenges uh, faced by the board. So all are aware of the fact that uh, ZLD, that is a zero liquid discharge, is mandatory to install uh, by the some of the industries which are uh, generating uh, effluents, that is uh, trade effluents. So now already in CPCB, that is Central uh, Pollution Control Board, they have already issued a directions, strict, uh, strict directions to all the state uh, pollution control board to make sure that uh, all the uh, specified uh, industries are uh, supposed to install uh, these uh, ZLDs. Some of the industries have already installed uh, online monitoring system and some are uh, in, all the, in, the, in, the, in the process of uh, installing such things. So as uh, we know that uh, uh, installation of uh, sea waste treatment plant is mandatory for uh, even institutions. So many, uh, many of the institutions uh, they have already installed uh, sea waste treatment plants so in their campus, including uh, educational institutions. I mean, apart from commercial establishments and other things, even educational institutions also came forward to this thing. Yeah, apart from that, the board has initiated another uh, wonderful uh, initiative, that uh, real-time uh, online monitoring. So where it is a CETP, that is a common effluent treatment plant, where the uh, untreated effluent from the industries, so they are transporting it to CETP, that is common effluent treatment. So that has been completely real-time uh, monitored uh, by the CETP. So that is a uh, um, great initiative uh, uh, done by the Karnataka State Pollution Control Board. So now let us throw some light on uh, treated uh, wastewater. So in this regard, there are already policies have come up uh, that uh, how to use, utilize the treated uh, wastewater. So in this regard, some of the states like Gujarat, Haryana, Punjab, Jharkhand, even in our state also that, that has been happening. So in that they have clearly mentioned that incentives should be given uh, for the using of uh, treated uh, uh, water for the, some of the other reasons. So as we are aware of and uh, the fact that more than 50 percent of uh, uh, portable water is used for the industrial purpose. So this is a I mean, major concern one should uh, look into that. So I think you must have seen in the newspaper and uh, media that more than 50 percent of uh, Bangalore uh, sewage is uh, going to uh, leading to Bairamangala Lake. So through Urishpavati Valley, so in this regard, 1,500 uh, MLD of uh, treatment plant is uh, required to, uh, to clean the effluent of this, which is going uh, connecting to Bairamangla Lake. So it is a huge investment. It is not there. Uh, though it is a responsibility of the government, so it, since it is involved too much of uh, big amount of money, so if there is any CSR initiatives in this regard, if somebody come uh, come forward from the industry, so that it will be uh, things will happen uh, at the earliest. So we know that water cannot be created, so either in the lab or outside or from anybody or even through magic. So it is a responsibility of every individual or institution to conserve every drop of water. So with this let me conclude that, so please conserve water every drop for the future generation.